Here you are, a cool compress for your head and a warm tea to drink. I also took the liberty of bringing a few of those delicious cookies you made. Your culinary skills are nothing short of amazing. Perhaps I did bring more than needed, but don't worry. I'll be more than happy to take care of those for you. As I'm sure you have guessed, living here alone for so long and not having anything like your skill set for cooking meant heavenly treats like these weren't on the menu. You have many gifts, Eden, not the least of which is your newfound ability to communicate with the collective. I do wonder, though, if they can give us the answers we need to rescue any surviving Atlanteans in stasis. I also wonder if Tannis will be able to eavesdrop on our conversations, or if the connection you established with them is for our ears only. Indeed, we still don't know what Tannis's plans are. For the longest time, I assumed it was his intent to kill all remaining Atlanteans, so as to have all our society's knowledge and powers for himself. Now I'm not so sure. If he only wished to destroy Atlantis, he could have fired on the remains as soon as we found them. Exactly. He obviously knows we've discovered some of the lost city, and yet he hasn't taken any action. His agenda must be different from my original assumption. The big question now is, what is he up to? Whatever it is, it presents us with two as yet unanswered questions. Precisely, can the Collective help us? And what is Tannis planning? Your head really hurts, doesn't it? I'm so sorry. I should have realized how difficult speaking to the Collective was for you and stopped you sooner. No, your safety always comes first. I won't sacrifice your health for any reason. I was too caught up in the moment and I failed to see what a toll it was taking on you. Please forgive me. I will not be so careless in future. Do you think a hot bath would be helpful? Perhaps some aromatic salts to soothe and relax you? No, no, not right now. We can communicate with the Collective later, when we've come up with a few pointed questions that we can ask quickly. Keeping the connection open for so long is far too draining for you. We have to limit our time. Essentially, get in, get our answers, and get out as quickly as possible. I'll prepare our bath. Yes, I did say our bath. Surely you wouldn't deny me the opportunity to look at your delicious body, would you? You have my word. No funny business. Until you're feeling better. Then I can't be held responsible for what happens. I'm finding myself rather smitten with you and you never cease to amaze me with your talent. 
After all this time, I had given up the idea of finding someone. I had committed myself to the idea of rediscovering Atlantis and perhaps rescuing any survivors. At least in that way, I had a reason to go on. Not now. I still want to do all I can to help anyone down there who may have survived. But now, with you, I find myself having thoughts of a future. Our future, together. Not always looking to the past, but toward what you and I can build together. Yes, the salts smell like eucalyptus and spearmint. Do you like it? I'm glad. It's my favorite as well. I suppose the first question we should ask would be, is anyone still alive in stasis? If the answer is no, there really wouldn't be any reason to continue, would there? If the answer comes back yes, I'd like to ask, how do we get them to the surface? But I fear the answer could take so long, you'd be in too much pain trying to hold the connection. No, you do not need to take one for the team. We need to come up with a way to break the question down into pieces that can be answered quickly. If it takes several sessions to get the full answer, so be it. I won't risk you getting hurt to achieve our goal. Once we have the instructions on how to bring them up, I suspect our next question would be, how do we revive them? I agree, it is a lot, but we'll find a way. Holding me back? You must be joking. I wouldn't have been anywhere near this far along without your help. Your contributions have been invaluable. And I never would have been able to communicate directly with the Collective without you. Your psychic gift is the whole reason we're able to have this discussion. And if I ever had found Atlantis without you to help me, I would have foolishly jumped into a submersible and almost undoubtedly been killed by Tannis. In truth, you have saved me in any number of ways. And now, if there is anyone still alive in Atlantis, you'll be the reason they're saved as well. I meant every word. You are a miracle. And now, you're my miracle. Careful, my love. I only have so much self-control. I'm trying to be a gentleman and focus on speeding your recovery, but much more contact like that, and all bets are off. Yes, Tannis does represent a lot of potential problems. Depending how the Collective instructs us to bring up the survivors, we may also have to deal with Tannis attempting to interfere any way he can. Hopefully, 
the collective's method will be something we can conceal from prying eyes. If not, we'll need a plan for how to deal with the threat that Tanis represents. Unfortunately, the only thing predictable about Tanis is his unpredictability. He is extremely intelligent, but seemingly lacks any compassion or conscience. Considering we came from the same society, it baffles me that we could be so different. The other detail that continues to puzzle me is why he seems so intent on gathering up every Atlantean coin. He was willing to kill to acquire them, but for what purpose? In today's world, their value would only be as an artifact or from the metals they're made of. They aren't exactly considered legal tender any longer. I agree, it's completely illogical, and yet, he's obsessed by them. So what is his game? I'm afraid our bathwater has cooled off. Let's get you out of this tub and into some warm clothing before hypothermia sets in. Is your head feeling better? A little. Well, at least there was some improvement. Let me dry you off. You're welcome. And yes, I do have to do that. It gives me the opportunity to run my hands all over you. You wouldn't deny me one of life's little pleasures now, would you? I've found I thoroughly enjoy your company. I know we've only been together for a short while, but frankly, I can't remember how I managed before you came into my life. I suppose I remained buried in my work, so I didn't have to think about it too often. Suffice to say, I'm much fonder of my life with you in it.